All right, I've never been on a ferry to New York City, so this is cool. We're trying to get into the city as quick as possible. The girls and my wife are going to be attending a friends pop-up session where they recreate the set pieces for the apartment and it should be pretty cool. All right, we have arrived in New York City. Woo! <clears throat> Woo! Woo and we have to get to our hotel, so we're gonna watch Isabel try to hail a cab. It is a rainy day. It's cool. Yesterday it was 93 degrees in Maryland. It's about 71 or so here. show you our digs where we're staying pretty cool room sleeps five comfortably this is the so hotel it's the oldest continually operating hotel in New York City I'm not complaining oh boy day one it is raining cats and dogs in New York City guys not cool. We are making our way up into Soho and I gotta take Sam to go see Louis Vuitton. I've never been to a Louis Vuitton store in my life, but that's what we're doing while the girls do their friends pop-up event. So we should be getting close to both of these places. So you don't steal stuff because it's high-end merchandise. All right, here we are at Louis Vuitton. Fendi was a washout. They were only bags.
everywhere today. We hit Gucci, we hit Louis Vuitton, we hit Bape, Bathing Ape, and uh, we almost went into Fendi. When I say everywhere, that is kind of everywhere for us, but that's about enough. What was your favorite thing? Um, Gucci. Gucci? Yeah. What, did you like the earrings? Yeah. Yeah, we saw some earrings in there. The shoes were insane. They had these one set of shoes with spikes on them that were just, uh, look like they're right out of the apocalypse, out of the wasteland. So, uh, still feel a little out of place in there. Everyone's dressed to kill. And we're yeah. kind of dressed like, you know, we're road tripping right now, which we kind of are. So, I think we're going to take a little break go get something to eat and we're done okay. for now. So these are the personalized M&Ms that we paid $65 for. <laughs> for three, not for one. For three of them, yeah. Oh, it's a deal. <laughs> All right, so we're done at the M&M store in Times Square. We're done personalizing M&Ms. Let's get out of here and see what else we can get into. Go ahead. Three hours later. There's someone in there. Get this one here. Go ahead, Belle. Hand up. One eternity later. This one. Huh? Yeah, there's someone in there. What's up guys? We ended the night at the... And two months later, Milk and Cream Cereal Bar. Milk and Cream Cereal Bar on the edge of Chinatown in Little Italy in Manhattan. And this place has a totally unique flip on uh, ice cream. Most of it is with uh, comes with toppings that are from popular cereals, I guess you'd say. Cocoa Puffs, Fruity Pebbles, Fruit Loops. All the good stuff. Thank I got a vanilla milkshake with fruity pebbles, brownie bites, and chocolate sauce. Yeah, Sam didn't really like it, but I'm finishing up his. It's like a fruity berry concoction with Fruit Loops in it, and the Fruit Loops almost give it like a strangely enough like a chipotle flavor to it. It's almost spicy, so it's kind of cool. Lexi got plain vanilla ice cream with sprinkles. Yeah, so she wasn't feeling too adventurous. But um, if you're in this area and you want to try something unique, uh, this came in as one of the better dessert places after dinner places. So 
definitely try it, right? <laughs> All right, touring Little Italy at night. New York City. Rainy night. Still checking out the sights. NYC. Oh, this is the Christmas shop, yeah. Well, we found the Christmas shop in Italy. Oh! <laughs>